Tea is deeply rooted in Chinese culture. Even today, tea has become popular around the world as it fulfills modern demands for healthy refreshment. Tea is thirst quenching and leaves a refreshing taste in your mouth. Also, it boasts many health functions. It is a diuretic, a stimulant, and it helps digestion. Add to this the tea leaves enchanting fragrance and taste, and it's no wonder tea is an essential part of everyday life. In Taiwan, more than 60% of the population drinks tea regularly. In restaurants and tea houses, and even on the street, you can see groups of friends or even individuals savoring a nice cup of tea. Taiwan boasts the fabled name Island of the Immortals. Located in the subtropics, it enjoys warm sunshine throughout the year and moderate temperatures and abundant rainfall. And with picturesque mountains and clear waters, it is a paradise for growing tea leaves. Taiwan has 20,000 hectares of tea farms with an annual production of 21,000 tons of dry tea leaves. Tea farms are spread throughout Taipei, Taoyuan, Xinzhou, Miaoli, Nantou, Yunlin, Jiayi, Kaohsiung, Taidong, Hualien, and Yilan. These farms produce a wide variety of teas noted for their outstanding quality. Taiwan's more famous varieties of tea leaves include Wenshan Baozhong Tea, Oriental Beauty, Dongding Oolong, and High Mountain Oolong. Wenshan Baozhong tea is grown in the mountainous areas near the Wulai Scenic Area in northern Taiwan. The tea produced in Taipei County's Pinglin, Shiding, and Xindian areas are the most famous. Wenshan Baozhong is lightly fermented and rolled to form a finished tea. The appearance of the tea leaves features swollen lines and dark green luster. In water, the tea becomes a light brownish green in color with a delicate fragrance and a sweet, smooth flavor. This type of tea leaf emphasizes the aroma. With the stronger the aroma, the higher quality of the tea. The water we use for brewing tea has been processed. It is low in mineral content and free of any disinfectant residues and bacteria. Therefore, this water does not need to be boiled first. Simply heat the water to the desired temperature. Different tea leaves should be brewed at different temperatures. For Wenshan Baozhong, the water should be 90 degrees Celsius. With the water bubbling like this, the temperature is about 90 degrees, perfect for brewing Wenshan Baozhong. If you plan to brew the tea for five rounds, fill the pot half full of tea leaves. If the tea leaves are finer, use a little less. If the tea leaves are thicker, then add a bit more. The brewing time is very important. For the first round, steep the tea for about one minute. Naturally, this time can be adjusted according to your preference for tea strength. Pour the tea into a pitcher, then into the tea cups. If you pour directly into the cups, then fill the cups evenly four times, adding a quarter each time. Then top off each cup. This will ensure a balanced tea strength. Wenshan Baozhong is lightly fermented with the brewed tea slightly yellow in color. Its aroma is delicate and fragrant with a vibrant taste. For the second round, cut the brewing time to about 20 to 30 seconds. The flavor was already released during the first brewing and will steep very quickly. With the third round, you will need to lengthen the steeping time with each subsequent brewing. For example, if the steeping time was one minute with the first round, then the second time can be 20 seconds, the third 45 seconds, the fourth time 1 minute 20 seconds, and the fifth time 2 minutes 20 seconds. This is just a rule of thumb and should be adjusted according to the quality and release time of the tea. 
There is another method for brewing the tea leaves just once in a large cup, an easy method suitable for everyday use or at the office. With this 130 cc covered bowl, we first add tea leaves equivalent to about 1.5% of the amount of water. In other words, 130 cc times 0.015 equals 1.95 grams, or approximately 2 grams of tea leaves. For Wenshan Baozhong tea, which should be steeped in water heated to 90 degrees Celsius, the tea should be brewed for about 10 minutes for best results. After 10 minutes, the tea is cool enough to drink. Also, the water-soluble elements in the tea have completely dissolved, so the tea leaves will not need to be separated from the tea, and it won't be too strong even after sitting for a while. Oriental Beauty Tea is also called Pico Oolong. It gets its name from the fact that the more the bud leaves or pico, the higher quality the tea. It is the most unique of Taiwan's famous teas since this is the only place it is produced in the world. The raw tea is selected from leaf buds which have been eaten by the green tea leaf hopper. The leaves are mixed manually to control fermenting, creating a tea that is double fermented but lightly rolled. It has a sweet or ripe fruity aroma. The tea is mainly grown in Xinju counties, Beipu and Emei and Miaoli County's Tou and Tofen areas. The color of Oriental Beauty varies like a flame, from white to green, yellow, brown, and red. The tea is the color of amber, with a rich taste that is fruity and sweet. When brewing Oriental Beauty, heat the water to 85 degrees Celsius. If you plan to brew five rounds, fill the teapot half full with Oriental Beauty tea leaves. Brew the tea for about one minute for the first round or to your personal taste. Next, pour all of the tea into a pitcher and then into the cups. If you pour directly into the cups, then fill the cups one quarter at a time and then top them off. This will ensure the tea strength is well balanced. With double fermented oriental beauty, the tea is orange-yellow. Its aroma is fragrant, turning from floral to fruity. The taste is very soft and elegant. Brewing time is the same, with the first round about one minute. The second round is cut to 20 seconds. The third round is 45 seconds. The fourth, one minute, 20 seconds. And the fifth, two minutes, 20 seconds. This is just a rule of thumb and should be adjusted according to the quality and release time of the tea. For office workers who enjoy a large cup of tea, the proper brewing method is very important. For example, this cup is about 300 cc's. The tea leaves should be 1.5% of this amount. In other words, 300 cc's times 0.015 equals 4.5 grams. So we'll add 4.5 grams of Oriental Beauty tea leaves. The ideal water temperature for brewing Oriental Beauty tea is 85 degrees Celsius. The tea should be brewed for about 10 minutes for best results. After 10 minutes, it will also be cool enough to drink. When you're tired, a cup of perfectly brewed tea not only tastes great, it also quenches your thirst. Dongding Oolong tea is famous both in Taiwan and abroad. It comes from the mountains of Nanto County's Lugu Township at an altitude of about 500 to 800 meters. The tea leaf processing includes rolling in a cloth ball, creating an appearance that is semi-spherical. It is a tea formed with medium fermentation and heavy rolling. The leaves are dark green in color, and the tea is a beautiful golden yellow, with a rich, fragrant aroma and sweet taste. This tea has a unique flavor and a pleasant aftertaste.
For Dongding Oolong, the water should be heated to 95 degrees Celsius. With the bubbles forming in large quantities, the temperature is about 95 degrees, perfect for brewing Dongding Oolong. If you plan to brew the tea for five rounds, you only need to fill the teapot one quarter full with Dongding Oolong tea leaves. Of course, you can adjust this to suit your tastes. For the first round, brew the tea for about one minute. Pour the tea into a pitcher and then fill the teacups. Remember, if you pour the tea directly from the teapot into the teacups, then fill the cups slowly and in turn, one quarter at a time, and then top off each cup. This will ensure the tea strength will be more evenly balanced. Dongding Oolong tea leaves undergo medium fermentation, producing a yellow-colored tea. It has a deep floral aroma and a mature and full flavor. Like the other teas, the brewing time for the first round is one minute. The second round is reduced to 20 seconds. The third round is 45 seconds. The fourth round is one minute, 20 seconds. And the fifth round is two minutes, 20 seconds. This is just a rule of thumb and should be adjusted according to the quality and release time of the tea. For people who enjoy a big cup of Dongding Oolong tea, then the question is how to brew a cup that's both tasty and not bitter. Here is a simple way to brew a large cup of good tea. This glass tumbler holds about 500 cc's of water. The amount of tea leaves should be about 1.5% of the water used. In other words, 500 cc's times 0.015 equals 7.5 grams. So add 7.5 grams of Dongding Oolong tea to the glass. For the best cup of Dongding Oolong tea, use water heated to 95 degrees Celsius and steep for 10 minutes. Also, by this time, the tea is cool enough to drink. Savoring a large glass of Dongding Oolong like this is a true pleasure. High Mountain Oolong refers to tea produced in tea farms located above 1,000 meters in altitude. These are mainly produced in new tea areas located at 1,000 to 1,300 meters altitude in Jai and Nanto counties. With the cool mountain temperatures and the veil of morning and evening fog, the daily amount of sunshine is shorter, reducing the amount of catechins and other bitter ingredients in the leaves, plus the amount of ammonia acid and dissolvable nitrogen ingredients which contribute to the tea's sweetness are increased. The tea leaves are also more supple and thicker and possess more pectin, making it a mature tea for medium fermentation and heavy rolling. Therefore, the high mountain oolong tea leaves are a vivid green with a sweet taste and an elegant aroma, producing a tea that's easy to brew and a light greenish yellow in color. For high mountain oolong, the ideal brewing temperature is 95 degrees Celsius. This water producing large quantities of bubbles should be about 95 degrees, making it perfect for releasing the flavors of high mountain oolong. If you want to brew five rounds of tea with high mountain oolong, fill the pot one quarter full with tea leaves. For the first round, steep about one minute. Of course, brewing time can be adjusted to personal tastes. Then pour the tea into a pitcher before pouring into the cups. Remember, if you pour the tea directly into the cups, fill the cups in turn one quarter at a time and then top off each cup. This will ensure a smoother tea. High Mountain Oolong undergoes medium fermentation, leaving it bright green in color. The aroma is light and elegant, and best of all, is it's easy to brew and has a flavor that is sweet and inviting. The brewing time is the same. The first round is one minute. The second round is reduced to 20 seconds. 
The third round is 45 seconds. The fourth round, 1 minute 20 seconds. And the fifth round, 2 minutes 20 seconds. This is just a rule of thumb and should be adjusted according to the quality and release time of the tee. For tea lovers not satisfied with a small serving, learning how to brew a large individual serving is a must. For this 200 cc cup, the tea leaves should be about 1.5% of the water. In other words, 200 cc times 0.015 equals 3 grams. So we'll add 3 grams of high mountain oolong to this cup. The best brewing temperature for high mountain oolong is 95 degrees Celsius, and 10 minutes of steeping will produce the ideal strength of tea. After 10 minutes, the tea will also be the perfect temperature for drinking. A large 200 cc cup of high mountain oolong is both tasty and satisfying. You can also try this method for brewing a large pot of tea. It is suitable for making large quantities of tea. Take note of the ratio of tea leaves to water when brewing. The general standard is one part tea leaves for every 50 parts water. After brewing five to six minutes, pour the tea into a separate container and enjoy. If you wish to brew a second round of tea, just add boiling water and lengthen the brewing time. When examining the Chinese character for tea, you can see it has the character for person nestled between the grass and trees. This is a fitting definition for tea, describing a person in the great outdoors among the plants and the trees, enjoying the subtle fragrances, the breeze sweeping across her face with her mind at ease. Enjoying a cup of tea on a regular basis will not only make you more healthy, it will also help relax your mind and put your spirits at ease. It is an indispensable beverage. To truly appreciate the taste of fine tea, we recommend that you try a cup of one of Taiwan's great teas and revel in the beauty of life.